Hey guys, how's it going? If you guys have been enjoying the videos, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. God bless. So this video is going to be about Joe Kirby, the wanker Pharisee who hasn't stopped. And I made other videos about Joe Kirby. I've done a lot of research on this guy. He's a 100% work salvation Pharisee. And I'm going to leave a link to the other videos that I've done in the pinned comment. And the reason why I have to keep making Joe Kirby videos is because he won't stop. If he stopped preaching a false gospel, I wouldn't be making these videos. And I don't take pleasure in making videos exposing Joe Kirby because he's really just a soy person that's just irritating to listen to. So I don't like listening to him to have to expose him, but he won't stop preaching a false gospel. And every time a false gospel is preached, souls end up in hell. So Joe Kirby is a 100% wanker on the masses. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Luke 6.26 got so many people who are asking me many different questions, saying to me, Joe, you know, you're telling me that in one video God loves you no matter what you've done, but in the next video you're saying that you're deceived if you're living in sin. Which one is it, Joe? Tell us the truth. And the other reason is, really, I do fear God. And one day I will stand before God and I will give an account for all the souls that I've... Alright guys, so Joe Kirby is a 100% wanker on the masses and he's a false prophet. These are the people who Jesus was against in the Bible, the Pharisees. They were preaching work salvation or self-righteous hypocrites. The reason why people are getting confused when they watch a Joe Kirby video is because he's mixing works and grace. He backloads works into the gospel and he makes it so that you have to earn it and be a good, a good enough person to go to heaven. The Bible teaches us that Jesus paid it all and we have to believe in him to go to heaven. He saves us. He paid it all. He's the one who died for our sins. But Joe Kirby's teaching that you need to be the one who gets yourself to heaven. You need to be good enough. And that's 100% wicked and it's a burden on people. We're going to get to that. But to him that worketh not. But believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. His faith is counted for righteousness. Romans 4, 5. So the Bible makes it clear that we don't need works. And in Matthew 23, 4, Jesus said to the Pharisees, For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. This is what Joe Kirby is doing. He's binding heavy burdens on people, that's why they're getting confused about whether or not they're going to heaven. Joe Kirby is a wolf in sheep's clothing. He might seem like a nice guy, but really that's an act. Joe Kirby, he goes, Oh, hello, my name is Joe Kirby. I stopped wanking. Hello, my name is Joe Kirby. He didn't stop wanking. No, he's a soy Christian. He's a fake Christian teaching tofu on the masses. That's his leaven. The leaven of the Pharisees. His leaven is tofu, off-brand. Joe Kirby, 100% tofu wanker. He is leading people to hell, guys. I'm telling you. 2 Peter 2.1 reads, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. This is what Joe Kirby is doing, bringing in damnable heresies privily, that means secretly. It's not going to come to you with a pitchfork and horns. These Pharisees, they are the religious leaders of our time. Because if there's nothing new under the sun, Jesus was against the Pharisees. That's who he was against. He was really kind to the outward sinners. He was very kind, helped them out, and ragged on the Pharisees. Because they were the ones who tried to kill him and ultimately did. So guys, don't listen to Joe Kirby. He's a 100% wanker, tofu, Pharisee on the masses. Hebrews 12.8 reads, But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So, I think it's pretty clear Joe Kirby is a bastard. Don't listen to him. And he's soy. God bless you guys. Have a good one.